hello, hello, my beautifuls. And this is the reading for the sign of Leo for the month of March, okay? Energies for the sign of Leo for the month of March. Please don't forget to subscribe, like my video, and comment below. I previously shuffled the cards, so I just don't have to just do a quick uh, shuffling. Energies for the sign of Leo for the month of March. Oh my goodness, and I'm feeling good about it. Mm, I'm feeling good. I hope. Oh my goodness, this is this is the way to start, my Leo. This is the way to start with the nine of cups. How good is that, my Leos? Oh, oh, a proposal. <laughs> a proposal with the knights of cups. The king of wands. We have a king of wands that is going to come and make us a proposal. The hermit. Looking in ourselves. Looking inside ourselves. What we're going to do about situations. What we're going to do about this proposal, my Leos. We have more than one auction. My Leos, we, we are good looking. So we're going to have more than one auction. We are planning. Receiving clarity. Oh my goodness, we are receiving clarity. The high priest. We're thinking about what we're gonna do. Oh, and the Queen of Pentacles. We are the Queen of Pentacles, my Leos. We are the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, the King of Pentacles. We actually can it can be both. You are female or male. Having Progress, abundance of money, abundance of emotionally, being emotionally fulfilled. Oh my goodness, this, this reading looks good. And that is for the sign of Leo in love. Sorry, I forgot. And that is for the sign of Leo in love. This is looking good for my Leos. And required love. Engagement, Leo. So we're gonna have one that is unrequired and one that we're gonna get engaged with. Are you kidding me? I got two. The top of the card was this one. Keep an open mind and a wedding. How huh? we get engaged, we get the wedding. We get... <laughs> the last thing that I did for the month of for the last two weeks of February for Leo. It was the wedding car and the engagement car. So it's coming over again. The same thing. My goodness, my Leos. This is so amazing. And this car is like... I'm going to have to glue it. I have this car that look. I'm going to have to glue it. Okay, let's see. Energy is for the sign of Leo for the month of March. Energies for overall energy for the sign of Leo for the month of March. I Leo, I cannot wait. What's gonna be the overall energy? The dreamer. Oh, this is so good. Oh, the emperor. Okay, let's go ahead and get started because I can't, I hardly can wait. <laughs> Okay, my lovely Leos, don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? So the card that we have, we have the Emperor. Organization and logic, a structure and discipline, leadership. That's what we're just going to get. A leader, a man that is a leader, a man or a woman that is a leader. Leap of faith, follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, this is what we know to do. Look, with the Nile Cups, we're going to be following our dreams. Follow your dream. An expected opportunity. It comes an unexpected opportunity. It can be in love. An unexpected opportunity in love. Okay, let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and look. Look at this. This is this is too exciting. This is too 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 exciting for me to read. Okay, so first one. We have the nine of cups. The nine of cups. You see how the nine of cups is there. He's like a like he's like a, this person that is like watching TV and has his feet on the top of the table. 
this is the energy that we're gonna feel during the month of March. We're gonna feel like we have everything has been completed. There is, there is not gonna be in our hands. Whatever it's gonna, whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be, okay. And we're gonna feel like we have the abundance of uh, of people that love us, the people that want to be with us, okay. And we just like peace and relaxing and feeling good about ourselves. That's gonna be the energy for the month of March for us, okay? We're gonna feel like our wishes finally are coming true, okay? We are getting the material abundance that we wanted. Um, and we just are in good health. We have everything that we need. We have material abundance, we have everybody love us, and we just feel like we just have the people that love us, and, and we just have good health. And we have everything that we need. It's, that's going to be the feeling for the month of March. And then a proposal is coming. Look, in the love card, we have an engagement card. It is someone that's coming, that's coming to us to make us a proposal. And I want to say that it's a business proposal, but it's not. This is a love proposal, okay? Because all the other cards that are here, this is a love proposal, okay? It can, the love proposal it can, it can influence our finances, because the person that is coming is the king of wands. So this person that is coming to us with this proposal actually can be even two people because you have the two of wands. So, so the two of wands mean that you have multiple choices. But these two people that are coming, both of them, are like financially wealthy and financially stable. They are people that have their finances in order. So... We are going to be like so happy over the moon, my Leos. We are going to be so happy over the moon with this. We're going to be looking for clarity. The Hermit is about looking in yourself. For you can get clarity of the situation. For you can make a decision. March is going to be a month that we're going to have to make decisions. We're going to have to make decisions in like love. And we're going to have to make decisions on financial matters. We are going to have to make decisions and we are going to look in with ourselves internally. What are we going to decide about it? We are going to get clarity about what to do. Okay. That's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful month. And look, you have it right here. You have the Knights of, the Knights of Cups. That is the person that comes with the proposal of love. And you have the Knights of Swords. So that person that is coming, I think I I actually see three people actually. I see like three men or three women coming to propose something. I see I see a person. I see a person that is the knights of wands. That is a person. It can be a man or a woman. Depends on, on you. That he's he's charming and he has power and he and he's financially stable too. I see the kings of wands. I see a person that is that has clarity and look, he has his necklace in here and all this, and he's like financially stable too. I see I see this one too as a person that is coming to a proposal. This is like a business person that is coming to propose. So he has multiple options. I represent this one as a as as a Leo having someone to propose to us, but also another person they have multiple auctions. He's like a financially well he's well he's like he have money. But money, like serious money. Like serious money. Whatever money you think that is good money, and double or triple it because this this person has serious, serious money. I see all of that. I see having one, two, three, three people that is behind us and they come with proposals and telling us that they want a relationship with us. And this is just so, so wonderful. It's, it's again, it's the same thing. It's, it's just, look, I'm going to leave the link below for my last two readings for Leo. <laughs> And you're just going to see that it's the same cards. It's bizarre. By now, it's just bizarre. It's deja vu already. And you're just going to see it's the same cards. Same cards. Like, you switch places in some of the cards, but it's the same cards. 
exactly the same cards getting it over and over and over and over and over again in every single Leo reading. Yeah, I think I didn't get the high press the last time. But I got everything else. Everything else, the same, same cards coming over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. So you need to trust in your trust yourself. You need to trust your intuition because you need to get clarity. And the only way that you can make decisions about your life is trusting your intuition. Remember, we are we are represented by the lion. Lions are cats, and cats have a big, big intuition. So we need to follow our intuition for any business that we're gonna do any marriage proposal, any person that is coming and offers a relationship, anything. We need to follow our intuition. We are Our intuition is always right. So follow it, my Leo. Follow whatever your intuition tells you. Follow it because it's going to be right, okay? Um, and you're receiving clarity with the Herman. Herman is like looking for clarity. You have also clarity with the Queen of Swords. So we need to be guided, guided by our intuition, okay? And you also have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles means, oh my God, I'm so excited about this reading. It means abundance. It means having your money together. It means even having a baby. Because, you know, that's, that's what it is. I actually have in the past reading of Leo, I remember... I didn't have the Queen of Pentacles. I have, what is the other one that symbolizes having a baby? I think I have, no, I didn't have the High Priest. I had the Empress. The Empress, that it was symbolized, it symbolized it also having a baby. It is, it is a new project that is going to come out from this, or it is literally a baby. <laughs> probably gonna have a baby i hope not because i already have way too many kids <laughs> but yes leo it's coming it's coming it's coming a child or a new project or something that is is just gonna it's it's gonna be like something that is gonna come out from us okay it's probably a new project or a new business so we're gonna feel good about this this thing and this is gonna be so good for us okay <laughs> With the cards that I have, you have a required love, okay? But this one I represented in like, if we have so many people that is coming to tell us that they love us and they want a relationship with us, we're going to have to choose one. It is impossible that we choose two or three, okay? So we're going to have to choose one person, okay? And then you have the card of the engagement. Look, it, it came out in the last two readings, this same card, the engagement and the wedding, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. This situation involves marriage. Your soul may may differ from your usual type of expectation. And this reading, I'm going to name it the same the, the last two readings for Leo. But because what else can I going to make it? Like what else are I going to name this reading? It's just exactly the same card. So I have to name it the same. My lovely Leos. I hope you have a wonderful, and I know you're going to have a wonderful look. This is your first card. The Knights of Cups. Nine of Cups. That's your first card. I know you're going to be, you're going to have a wonderful month of March. And I will make sure that I uh, link below the last two readings that I did. I hope that you can go back and watch the reading for, for the, the last two or three readings for the month of February. I'm going to just put them below in the description. All of them. And you're going to see that this is like crazy bizarre already. It's deja vu. All the time, the same cards. <laughs> but that's the energy for my Leos, for my Leo Pride. That, that's the energy. What else can we do? That's, 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 what, it's, that's what it's God is putting in our, in our energy. What's the universe? That's what the universe is throwing to us. That's, it is what it is, okay? Okay, my lovely, you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.